It's no surprise President Obama's oldest daughter, Malia, will attend Harvard University, the school from which both her parents received law degrees. But what is raising some eyebrows is the year off Malia will take, a gap year, as it's called, before she begins Harvard in the fall of 2017. Can taking a year off before college be beneficial to a student? Elizabeth Armstrong is professor of sociology and organizational studies at the University of Michigan, and she joins us now. Hi, Elizabeth. Thanks for being with us. Hi, thanks for having me. So, Elizabeth, do you see this as being a positive for almost any student? I think so. I think so. I, I think that the additional space to have um, some chance to grow up and get some autonomy, I think it's a good thing. So yeah. clearly Malia Obama is in a unique position. But for other students whose parents perhaps do not run the country, does taking a year off carry with it a stigma that could be interpreted as being lazy? I don't think so. I think the main challenge is that obviously most families don't have the resources of the Obamas and um, the issue of funding the gap year in a way that makes it um, kind of developmentally useful in some sense can be a challenge. But actually, because for a lot of young people, simply kind of getting into the workforce mm -hmm. a little bit um, can be a good thing. So like I have a question about that. If you landscape. are going into the workforce uh, yeah. with that gap year, should you do something that is career oriented or do you just want to make some money and save up for school? Well, I think either, um, because I think in some ways one of the reasons why a gap year can be very beneficial is it's about sort of psychological and emotional development um, to have the maturity to handle the complexity of the college environment, getting some space from parents, getting some space from everybody's expectations, the expectations of, of your peers, of teachers, of parents, and really trying to figure out who you are as a person and what you want. And even just getting some expertise with things like a laundry. Right. <laughs> Maybe, you know, balancing a checkbook, things so, like that. I can see how taking that breather after the stress of senior year can help sort of clear your mind and, and yeah. let you enter, enter college with a renewed sort of purpose and energy. But what are some of the specific things that you recommend students do with a gap year? Community service, uh, internships, what are some great ideas? Yeah. Well, I was just talking with my son, who's taking a gap year this year. He's taking a gap year after his first year of college. And his advice was travel, but don't do it with any kind of program or travel agent. Just go. Arrange it yourself. Buy the tickets yourself. Um, just really go out into the world um, and, you know, and do it on your own. And, and for that, I mean, he's, he's funded his, his year. So I think that's part of it too, is because the necessity is developing more autonomy. I think that if the kids can kind of have some kind of skin in the game in the sense of, you know, working to make the money for the traveling, um, kind so of having- In your they, son's case, did he save up before, sort of senior year, he worked to save up money for the gap year? Well, no. He well, actually, he 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 took the first year, and then he spent the first semester working landscaping just around town to save up money. Well, of course, that wouldn't have worked if he wasn't sort of still like living living at home and sure. kind of being supported in a lot of ways with me. Which comes back to the privilege issue. I mean, that this is that to really for this to really be something that can be beneficial, um, there, you know, there is a certain amount of financial um, aspects to it. It may not, may not be, it may exacerbate inequalities in some ways rather than level them. So do we know how common the gap year is among United States students? I don't know if there's been any systematic research on that yet. Um, I mean, anecdotally, I think it's becoming more common. Um, I know um, at least, you know, one of my son's friends did it as well. When I talk to people, um, when, I t when I talk to people kind of of my generation, a number of them are like, oh, yeah, I kind of did that, but we didn't really talk about it then. <laughs> we didn't have a name for it. Now it's called the gap yeah. year. <laughs> right. There it was just taking some time off. I can right. totally see the benefits of it. Thank you so much, Elizabeth Armstrong, for all that. Great. Thanks a lot.